Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bring you guys another video guys Welcome back to the channel in today's video We're covering something that I've been seeing everyone talking about I posted a video earlier today If you guys want to watch a solo squad victory royale in the new snipers only game mode check out my last video It was intense. It was a lot of fun But if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up and check out that last video and with that being said Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you've given me lately. I appreciate that more than anything now Let's get into the video So if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video talking about how Tilted Towers is going to be destroyed by Epic, the game developers don't want Tilted Towers in the game anymore. If you guys haven't got caught up in everything like that, make sure you check out yesterday's video explaining everything about it. There's there's proof showing that it's going to happen. If you guys look up in the sky, there's actually a meteor coming to Tilted Towers. It's coming to the map Fortnite, and it's getting bigger and bigger every single day, you guys. And then on top of the mountains, they have these new telescopes that are pointing up to the mountain. Now this this is it's a coincidence, or is it real? Is it really showing? us something that something's about to happen so this has been the talk the past few days that everyone is talking about over on reddit i mean tilted towers is going to be destroyed the place that we all love to go to the place that is the most action-packed we love watching ninja land there because he just destroys everybody at tilted towers and then when we land there we just die automatically that yeah that place right there tilted towers is going to be no more in fortnite battle royale and there's proof showing this you guys but we're going to talk about why our controller vibrates randomly throughout the game because that's why you guys probably clicked on this video is because you're curious like why is my controller vibrating throughout the game like there's random moments that the controller vibrates and there's different theories on why this happens and that's what we're going to cover in today's video this all actually ended up starting after the recent update the recent patch that they did where they released the new rocket launcher within the game that's when start people started feeling the vibrations in their controller randomly throughout the map now honestly me i've never felt it because i play with my vibration off just because it's a distraction so i like to keep it off but my friends like exotic bricky he told me he was like yo my controller just vibrated it was weird why does my my controller keep vibrating in random parts and I never understood what he was talking about I was like maybe it's just a glitch or something like that and it makes sense I mean the update just happened and there's a whole bunch of bugs like the shotgun pump that was just not cocking right it was just a whole bunch of different things that was going wrong with the game so a lot of people thought okay it's probably just a bug within the game the game developers maybe have to fix this so a lot of people were tweeting to them and letting them know and this article this website this company actually came out and they said that it was announced officially that it was an error within the game so here's what they said here's why your controller is vibrating randomly in Fortnite the latest Fortnite patch 3.4 brought us controlled rockets, a new sniper only mode, and much more. But one of the new features that we definitely didn't ask for is the constant vibration that runs through your controller while playing the game. It's been confirmed that this is a glitch and isn't happening to alert you that there's nearby enemies or you're completing a challenge. So this article is basically saying that it was confirmed that it was a glitch, but they have no screenshots within the article showing that there's proof of the dev team or the game developer saying that it's confirmed that it was a glitch. I think this article just made it up and they just put it in there just to get views or something like that. But in my opinion, I think it's more than just a glitch. It can't be just a glitch. And I was actually playing with another friend earlier today and he told me that his controller has been vibrating whenever an enemy is nearby and I thought about it and I was like this kind of makes a little bit of sense because on the mobile app you don't really sound whore it shows you on the map if people are having footsteps near you so maybe they're trying to like implement it within the game and as well as the mobile to the point where you don't need headphones to be good at the game where you can feel your controller vibrate so that way you know someone's running up on you but then again I, I sat there and thought and I was like that, that can't be true there's no way that this this is why our controller is vibrating. Maybe there's something else. So I was randomly scrolling through my Twitter and I saw this tweet or something like that and somebody said they marked every single location that they felt the controller vibrate and it ended up spelling TT with an X through it. So basically around the whole map it spelled TT. I guys I made a little image of what it looked like. I can't find the exact tweet anymore so don't like criticize me for the exact drawing that I made it. Again I just did an example of what it looked like but it spelled TT with an X through it showing that Tilted Towers was going to to be eliminated now this is just another theory that people would think that's why our controllers are vibrating because it spells that out i don't know if this is 100 percent true when i heard this though i was like that's insane i believed that right when i heard it because i knew the meteor was coming and i was like they're probably just doing it to give us hints and signs because for some reason recently they've been giving us a lot of signs before they do certain things within the game so it lets us know like they've been doing a lot of easter egg things within the game so right off the bat that's already three theories why our controller is vibrating automatically for us the last one i'm gonna 
gonna cover is the biggest story of them all, guys. This one, when I read it, it my mind just exploded. I was like, that makes 100% fact, makes sense, that's crazy. It actually got me excited about Fortnite Battle Royale, even more than I already am about it. And we'll cover that in a second, but the first theory is that it's just a glitch within the game that they gotta fix it because of one of the updates and stuff like that. The other theory is whenever an enemy runs by you, that's why your controller's vibrating. And then another theory is that it spells out TT with an X through it on the map. So those are three theories, but this fourth theory that we're gonna talk about, guys, this one is the topping on the cake. This one's going to make you sh yourself. So this last one was found on Reddit. Of course, you guys, I will leave a link in the description so you guys can actually go check out this Reddit post. You, for yourself, I'm not taking any credit in this. His name is Vigilance Foe Tracer. And he ended up discovering this, but this is exactly what it says. Controller vibration translated to Morse audio. So I was quite intrigued by why the random controller vibration was occurring on consoles. Looking at patterns to see what would trigger it happening, what I discovered is that the controller actually does two types of vibrations. A light vibration, which is subtle, subtle and lasts for seconds while there's a harder vibration which lasts for 1.5 seconds the following four patterns were discovered and i don't know i know i'm looking at these patterns too and i'm like that i don't know what these patterns mean i don't get what any of that means but then he went on to say it intrigued me as to why there were three different vibration patterns it turns out there's actually a logical reason as to why there is and what triggers this pattern the first pattern is what occurs when it's daytime in the game the second pattern is what occurs when it's nighttime the third pattern is what occurs when you're in the storm and the fourth pattern is when you're gliding down the Map. Together the patterns make the following up. Now I know I'm looking at this just like you guys like I don't get what any of these little codes or dots or lines mean but he, he tells it out and translates it for us. When this is translated into Morse code it translates to the following SOS D5418. So what does this mean? Well SOS is commonly used as distress signal in Morse code which translates to save our soul. It seems that there is a distress signal from somewhere on the map. After thinking for a few minutes I tried to figure out what the D5 meant. I then decided to cross reference to the map and it turns out that D5 is on the grid exactly where Tilted Towers is located. Meaning that the distress signal is coming from directly from Tilted Towers and broadcasting to the entire map asking for assistance. The next part of the code 418 was easy. It's on the date 4 1 2018, 1st of April. So April 1st, 2018. Guys, this is April Fool's Day. This is going to be even more crazy once you guys think about this, but hang on, we'll keep going with the article or the Reddit post. So essentially, this is a broadcast dated tomorrow and where Tilted Towers is asking for our help. This goes in line with the meteor theory that Tilted Towers is going to be struck and destroyed supporting the telescopes and the battle pass emotes but yeah this is pretty crazy discovery let me know what you guys think if you want to check out the morse code for yourself try the try out this translator guys if you want to go check out the reddit post yourself again it's in the top of the description go check it out every single article that i covered in today's video is top of the description so go check them out if you guys don't believe me for yourself go check it out on your own but with that being said man holy crap this just blew my mind the second i thought about all this i was like holy crap it makes a hundred percent sense think about it they're giving us morse code throughout the game because they're trying to tell us that tilted towers is going to be destroyed but then when you think about it it's tomorrow it's getting destroyed tomorrow april 1st 2018 April 1st is April Fool's Day. There's so many things right now going on on Reddit talking about how Epic Games and Fortnite is going to do a whole bunch of things on April Fool's Day to trick the community. But then again, when we heard this news that it's destroying Tilted Towers, can this be an April Fool's joke on the whole entire community? You know how many people play this game? They're going to trick so many people. This is my theory or my thoughts that it's just a prank. It's just an April Fool's joke that they're going to do for one day. One day, maybe they're going to destroy Tilted Towers and leave it completely blank. Maybe they'll put a new city there and keep it like that forever or again it'll be just destroyed for one day after april fool's day they're gonna say it was a prank tilted towers is back that never happened this is crazy to think about guys i mean if they pull something like this off they're gonna get so many people tricked and so many people's minds are gonna be blown and it's just gonna be the best thing ever this just gets me even more excited to play the game tomorrow to see what actually happens you guys already know i'm gonna be on top of my tomorrow and i'm gonna be ready to bring you guys whatever information or news videos that i have for you guys so if anything happens make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because i will let you guys know first thing as soon as i find out now before you actually close out the video go down in the comment section below and comment what you think is going to happen do you think any of these theories are right let us know as a community what have you experienced with the vibrations of your controller have you discovered something that nobody else has posted and of course let me know what you think do you guys think this is going to be a cool thing if they remove 
remove Tilted Towers or do you think it's going to suck? Again, it is insane. I can't get over the fact that this is actually happening. Every time I look up, it looks like it's getting bigger. If you guys want to see the actual meteor at the biggest point that it is, it's when you're in the battle bus, actually look up in the meteor and you're as close to the meteor as you could possibly. And that's when you're going to see how big it actually is. But with that being said, if you guys want to watch an awesome gameplay again, check out my last video where I used a sniper in the new sniper only game mode. It was a lot of fun. I did solo squad. I could have went into it as a solo or with a squad, but I said, you know what? Let me 1v4 these kids and see if I can actually win. So you guys are definitely going to enjoy that gameplay, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.